Institute going to Cancer Research UK. Now, Sarah Farmer has joined us. Every weekend you think, is this going to be the last one of summer? <laughs> is this the last one? Well, we've got some nice dry weather in store for us tomorrow. Sunday, things liven up with the winds picking up. Mm. So uh, it will be a bit of a blustery one. <laughs> Lots of good outdoorsy weather, and I suspect lots of you have enjoyed the good outdoorsy weather at times between the showers today. Have a look at this photo. Blue skies here at Benbridge on the Isle of Wight. Thank you to Alan Dabbs for that one. That's a rather ominous looking sky. Thanks to Gillian Richards for sending in this picture from Swanage. And a windswept scene here at the Ridgeway in Berkshire this afternoon, courtesy of Ralph Peedle. We have seen quite a bit of showery activity by day today. A few more still to come, but gradually things are calming down through tonight. And indeed, as we look ahead to tomorrow, it's set to be more settled. A quiet and bright start through the day with cloud increasing as the day draws on. So let's take a look ahead through this evening then. Any showers gradually easing off the cloud as well, beginning to melt away. So clearing skies through the overnight period. And you'll see our temperatures are down to around six degrees. That's in towns and cities. So perhaps rural spots are down a couple of degrees cooler still. On into tomorrow morning then, perhaps a few pockets of mist first thing, but it's a bright and chilly start to the day. We will see some hazy skies through the early part of the morning. Gradually the thicker cloud starts to build in as the day progresses. And it looks to be largely dry with our temperatures peaking at around 16 or 17 degrees in some eastern spots, perhaps even touching 18. So your inshore waters for Selsey Bill, valid from midday tomorrow through until midday on Sunday. The winds will be west three or four, backing south five or six. Now, as we head on through tomorrow evening, we will start to see a little bit more in the way of wet weather pushing in from the west. One or two heavy spells could just skirt on through, but much of our region will stay dry with some clear breaks overhead. And we're looking again at seeing temperatures perhaps in double figures in some parts, but maybe just dropping a little below for others. Then to Sunday, and we've got high pressure on the continent. That's going to bring up some air from the south. We'll see some gusty, blustery winds pushing in from the south. They could well touch 40 mile per hour gusts. Even in land, we could see some pretty strong gusty winds as well. And this weather feature that you can see waiting in the wings will gradually make its way eastwards. But as it does so, it weakens. So it looks to be predominantly cloudy, maybe with a little bit of wet weather attached to it. So it's mild through the day Sunday and indeed as we venture into the new working week as well. Blustery to start Monday, but some sunny spells on offer, becoming unsettled through the middle part of the week. Staying with the weather theme, it's the autumn equinox tomorrow. It's one of two moments in the year when day and night are of equal length. Wow. Sun is exactly above the equator. I'm going to wait for that moment. Yeah, and I know this because I'm reading it off a script. Say, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that clever. Good knowledge. So um, enjoy the weekend, as Sarah said, it's going to be a nice one on Saturday. We'll both be outside, I imagine. Yeah, for sure, always. Football again? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> next news is at 10.30 tonight. Bye-bye. Good night.